off, I want to welcome everybody who made the effort to get out here. Thank you very much for being here. It wouldn't be possible, but you all played a special role in the lives of Justin and Shelby. You also played an important role in the lives of the Davises and the Lunas, and that's why you're here, because you're very important to us, and we wanted to share this special day with you. Thank you very much for being here. I also want to thank one other person, and that's my wife, Rana. From day one, from day one, she started planning this wedding. You sacrificed so much, you worked so hard to make this day special. Shelby and Grant are very lucky to have you as their mother and as their life coach, mentor. I couldn't ask for anybody better than you, babe. Thank you very much, I love you. As I started preparing for this day, I couldn't help but reflect on our marriage and what it meant to be a father to Shelby. And I always remember the day we became a family, and that was the day that Shelby was born. I remember holding her in my arms, and I knew she was special. At that point, I had a task that was so big, I didn't know if I could handle it, but I knew as a father, I had to provide for her and protect her. Little did I know that this little girl I was holding would bring me and bring us such happiness, love, and laughter to our family. I didn't know at that point, but she grew into such a beautiful woman. Kind heart, kind spirit, with a gentle way about her. But as a father, you always fear one day she's going to grow up, she's going to move away, meet a man of her dreams, get married, move to another state. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but throughout our lives, our, as our, in our family, we always had life-defining moments, as any, any family has. And I remember th that one moment is when she moved away to college because her bags were packed and our family as a family, we're rolling all 15 pieces of luggage <laughs> down the hallway. 14 of those were shoes. <laughs> but she stops in the entryway, she looks at all the rooms, and she said, well, I guess this is it. You know, and, and, and it was, that was it. That was the last time she really was home. But the Lunas and the Davises poured so much love into our kids that we had to trust in that love we gave them and let go and hope that everything would be okay. We hoped that we taught them the right things, that they would make the right decisions and everything would be okay. Said a lot of prayers to God to protect them. And off they went. But I never ever imagined that she would meet somebody in New Mexico. <laughs> of all places, New Mexico. But then again, New Mexico is a land of enchantment. But Shelby did have another word for New Mexico, and that was teepee land. And I think the Lady Lobos also know it as kitty cat land. But I think it was fate. And I think it was soccer, because their paths cross because of soccer and their love of soccer. They were both very dedicated, hardworking people. I just didn't know that she would meet somebody, but she did. I met Justin, he's a great guy, and we love him very much. But then some things never remain the same. With Justin graduating, moves to Minneapolis and plays with the Minnesota United Football Club, Shelby stays back and remains in college. By the way, Justin plays for the Loons of Minnesota. So I think, I think, I think uh, Loons, Luna, maybe change the last name? No. 
However, Shelby stays back, finishes college two years, two and a half years later, and she decides, I'm going to throw a wrench in this relationship. She gets a job and she gets moved to Tampa Bay, Florida. More miles apart, more months apart. 39 months total. I really didn't know that a long distance relationship like that could last. But Shelby and Justin knew they had something to hold on to. They had a commitment to love, commitment in loving each other so much that they had to trust in that love that they had and let go and believe that everything would be okay. And through those miles apart and months apart, their love endured and persevered for 39 months. I think you both learned that the commitment to love is very important because you're going to rely on that throughout your life. You're also going to learn to trust in the happiness you want for each other, trust in wanting the best for each other, trust in making sacrifices for each other, and also trusting to forgive each other when you need to because those are the very virtues that will hold you together. From day one, both of you have been making memories, lasting memories, and those memories are the very foundation of your history. You're building your lives together and facing the world on your own, but that history is the cement bond that's gonna hold you two together. And it's exactly what you have vested into each other into your relationship, and into your family. Never forget that, because you're going to be building your history every day that you're together. You not only have joined your lives together, but you have joined two families together who are going to bring you love, care, support, and a lot of visits to Minnesota. So get ready. Like I said, the day that I held Shelby in my arms, I knew she was special. I never fathomed the happiness that this girl could bring me. And just like that day when she walked out of our house, this too is another defining moment in my life, in our lives, where I have to let her out of my arms and into your arms, Justin. Justin, you're holding somebody in your arms that will bring you years of happiness. She will shower you with kindness, love, caring support, and loyal devotion. She has a heart of gold. She's uh, one in a million, and I think you know that. So hold her tight in your arms. Provide for her, protect her, love her, and honor her. You are the luckiest man on earth. But then again, Shelby is the luckiest woman on earth because she has a man that I respect tremendously and I love as my very own son. You raise a great man, Davis's. And we are so proud to have Justin as our son. Oh, yeah. There's one other thing, Justin. Uh, <laughs> you see, when I look at Shelby, she is full of happiness. I've never seen her happier in her life. It's because you make her happy. And when Shelby is happy, I am happy. <laughs> and when I am happy, everyone around me is happy. <laughs> right, Mama Luna? <laughs> but I am so excited for both of you. I couldn't ask for anybody better to entrust my daughter with but you, Justin. I am so happy for both of you. And I love you both so much. I wanted to keep it short.
because my wife said you have just a few minutes. So family, friends, I'd ask you please to stand, take your glass of champagne, and join me in toasting the marriage of Justin and Shelby. I have to first say, may God bestow upon you years of health, happiness, love, strength, prosperity, and many children. <laughs> Friends and family, to the new Mr. and Mrs. Justin and Shelby Lynn Davis. <laughs> Salute! Both of you guys, I love you very much. All right, guys, let's have for Al Luna. What a speech, ladies and gentlemen. All right.